All right, so what we're going to do today is set up a share folder on a Windows 10 machine for a Rico copier scan to folder. The first thing we want to do, pretty much like Windows 7, is we've got to create an account for the Rico copier to authenticate to the computer. If you go down to your start menu here at the bottom left, click on it, you'll see a little gear here that says settings. Click on that, and then you'll go to the icon that says accounts. After you're here, this is where a lot of people get lost. You'll want to click on family and other people. And then you'll see one that says other people and add someone else to this PC. That's the one we want right there. What Windows 10 has done is they've uh, set up everything to be under one account for Windows Phone, Windows Tablets, Windows Computers. And the reason for that is if you change something on your computer, it's supposed to sync up and change on your phone and your tablet. We don't want that. We want a local account, not a email or synced account. So you, what you want to click on is, I don't have this person's sign-in information. And it'll still try to make you set up an account for them. We don't want that. We don't want an email synced account. We want to add a user without a Microsoft account. It's right there. This is where we'll input the name of the account, the username. In most cases, it's just going to be scanner or scans. It can be whatever you want. And then for the password, it's a combination of upper and lowercase letters, but just make sure you don't forget what it is. Click Next. And then you'll see it's a local account right there, but we're not done yet. We have to make it an administrator account. Because just like in Windows 7, Windows 10, you have to have uh, the correct permissions to go from the Rico copier to the Windows PC. So click on it and click a ch uh, change account type. And then go from standard user to administrator. Click OK. And now you'll see it's an administrator local account. That's pretty much all you have to do to set up the account. So go ahead and exit out of there. And then what you'll want to do is go to your computer and go to the root of your C drive. And right click in an open area over here. And go to new. And go to folder. And you can name it whatever you want, but it's important that we always put it there. It's the shortest path possible. It's backslash backslash the name of your computer backslash whatever the name of your folder is. And it makes it really super simple to have it right there. Go ahead and right click on the folder and go to properties. Then go up to the sharing tab. Click share. Type in the name of the account you just created. Click add. And make sure it is read write. And again, this is, um, if you are at a local account or a domain, this may be different. This, this may be completely uh, set up differently. But for the purposes of what we're doing here, this is just my local computer name and the scans folder. Go into Advanced Sharing. And you'll see that it says share this folder. Go ahead and click permissions. And we need to add our scans account here. Scanner. Make sure you click full control so it has the authority to change add files to the folder. Click apply and OK. Apply and OK. And this is where I usually just go ahead and highlight the network path because we have to put that network path into the copier. You can click on security over here. It's not always necessary to do this. Sometimes the scanner folder that we created doesn't show up, but in this case it did, so we're okay. Close out of that. And you're pretty much done with the scans folder uh, as far as setting it up. What I typically do is right click and hold on it and drag it out to the desktop so that I can create a shortcut and then just rename it and that way whoever is using this has a quick little shortcut to get to their scans folder now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna log into our Rico copier and set up the network share on there 
and I am VPN into a machine uh, to another account because I don't have a Rico copier here with me. And in this case, I'm using an Officio SP5210. Your interface may look different if it's a 3054 model. Those, those web interfaces look very different. Uh, admin, no password. And the area we want to be in is address book right here. And we'll go ahead and click add user. The name is just the name that's going to be in the address book. The customer won't see that on the copier, so it doesn't really matter what you name that. But the key display, that is what the customer sees uh, as a scans button in the scan uh, area of the copier. When they, when they hit the scanner button on the copier and they go to folder, that's what they'll see. You'll click on uh, folder authentication specify other and put in the name of the account you created. And of course, click change to input the password to that account. And it's important that we remember the reason we made it to where the password never expires uh, is because if for any reason that password expires or changes this will never ever work again on the copier until you change it on the copier end so when you go to folder here you just simply right click in the path and go paste and then it has the full network path to the share click OK and it should be the very last entry in the address book so if you go to the very end of the address book it may be right there but in this case it's right here and if you see we've got it right there and the way you test that obviously is you go to the copier you put in your original in the feeder or you put it uh, face down on the scan glass you go to the scan button and then you go to the folder tab and you click on the button that says scans or whatever you named it and then hit send or OK depending on your copier and if it goes to the folder you should be able to go to your folder over here right or double click on it and the file should be in here if not then we've seen issues with uh, certain uh, antiviruses and firewalls blocking so try disabling the firewall or disabling the antivirus. Another important thing to remember on Windows 10 is that the Rico copiers have to have the most updated firmware in order to go to Windows 10. Um, we've seen in certain cases on Windows 10 you've had to go into your network uh, area. Well, probably over here would be best. Open Network and Sharing Center and go to Change Advanced Sharing Settings and we've seen where sometimes you have to go down here to guest or public actually I believe it's all networks forgive me I haven't done this in a while and in the file sharing connections where it says Windows uses 128-bit encryption we've seen sometimes where you've had to enable file sharing for devices that use 40 to 56-bit encryption that lowers the encryption on the Windows uh, operating system so that you can scan to it um, try using it with the 128-bit encryption first with the firmware of the copier updated all the way. If not, try this. It may help. That is all. Thank you.